Hi, Lee Ashby here. Today we're going to record a video where we're going to add two new pictures um, to a website. Uh, this is using WordPress and the BE theme. Okay, so let's have a look at this tab here where we've got the current gallery. Uh, we're just going to want to add two new pictures. Um, so let's go back to our dashboard. So we've just logged into WordPress and you will see the dashboard here. Now, we need to go to Media and Add New to add our images. And with this page, we can either drop files or click on Select Files to select our images. Uh, in this case here, I've got some pictures in my Dropbox that I want to add. Um, now, I'm going to click on this one and then hold down Control and click on the next one. And you can see here in the size column that these two pictures here are basically ready for the web because they're sized around 100k which is quite good for our gallery. Um, this one here we want to add to our website but it is sized at around 1 meg so in another video I'm going to show you how to resize that and then add it uh, to the website. But for the moment let's just add these two and click on open and that will start the upload process of the files to the website. So there they are added there. Let's go to our library now to look at those amongst with the other pictures. Now what we actually need is the ID of the pictures to add to our gallery. Now if I hover over the picture you can see the URL down the bottom um, and you can see that post equals 219 and post equals 218. So they're our IDs of the images. Um, so let's just remember 218 and 219 uh, to add to our gallery, which actually is in a portfolio item. So let's just click on portfolio to bring our portfolio items up. In this case, we want to edit the gallery here, Shoots by Sarah. So let's just scroll down. Now, the gallery is in this column item here. So let's just click on pencil to edit. And here's the gallery short code where, the, uh, where WordPress will call the file IDs here. So all we need to do is click in here and add in the new IDs, which I think were 218 and 219, I believe. So we just separate those by a comma. And let's go down and click Save Changes. And now we need to scroll up and click on update to update the portfolio. And we give that a couple of seconds. Let's click to the website front end here on this tab and click refresh. And there's our two new images straight into the gallery. So they're good to go and, and to be seen by everyone. In the next video, as I said, we'll look at editing an image. Okay, thanks.